Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma, and today I'm going to tell you about this lovely 2017 Range Rover Evoque SC Premium. Uh, the Evoque is the smallest uh, member of the Range Rover family, uh, but it does not lack in features and luxury, just like its bigger siblings. Uh, if you're in the market for a compact luxury crossover, the Evoque is a great one to consider, and uh, it is very capable off-road. Um, even though probably most people will never take this thing, uh, you know, in mud, sand, and gravel, it has a terrain management system that is designed for mud, uh, sand, gravel, uh, ruts. Um, so you just have this, these buttons right here, and you can change the different modes. So there's gravel and snow, mud, ruts, sand, and then uh, there's just regular uh, special programs off for just regular driving mode. So really a great out-of-the-box off-road vehicle probably better than a lot of its competition and uh, even though you might not take this on serious off-roading uh, if you do drive on beat up dirt or gravel roads or if you do drive in the snow it's going to be very capable uh, also has a heated windshield which is not always something that you find in this class of vehicles um, that's great for uh, you know icy situations so if you ski go over those mountain passes your windshield ice ices up that heated windshield is a nice feature also has heated front seats heated rear seats heated steering wheel uh, beautiful interior nice high quality leather seats uh, huge glass roof panel uh, you know it's a compact crossover so uh, having this big roof panel uh, definitely gives it a, a larger bigger feel on the inside and if it gets too bright out you have a sunshade to dim things down but we're not going to worry about that today unfortunately nice uh, rotary gear selector and it's pretty cool when you shut it off it just tucks itself right into the center console keyless ignition with push button start so this actually has nine Ford gears nine speeds and those nine Ford gears will help maximize performance and efficiency uh, it can get uh, EPA rating pretty close to 30 miles per gallon on the highway and it's very easy you just turn the rotor the uh, rotary dial here you have sport mode drive neutral reverse and park very straightforward then we have an electronic parking brake uh, auto climate control we have a rear parking camera a navigation automatic dimming mirror of universal garage door opener uh, nice leather up steering wheel 48,188 miles this was actually a trade-in at the West Hills Auto Group in Bremerton um, I buy uh, I buy uh, in general um, more like high-end luxury vehicles from them uh, they don't have a luxury franchise uh, so this was a trade-in at the Kia store um, Kia has some nice products like the new Telluride is a nice uh, mid-sized crossover and they're not cheap they're about fifty thousand dollars so uh, they might not have they might not have been downgrading necessarily trading out of this Range Rover if they bought something uh, like that um, you know this brand new was fifty thousand dollars but luckily it's not that price in the used market but generally uh, they'll call me on trade-ins and I'll give buy bids uh, I prefer to buy vehicles that way versus you know getting them at the auction because the auction you have to you know pay buyers fees and transportation so if I can buy a trade-in from a local dealership uh, that doesn't get much better than that if you've watched some of my other videos uh, I tell you pretty much the best source of used cars for any dealership is trade-ins and uh, you know obviously we like to get trade-ins at our store but we sell a lot of used cars and we don't take in enough on trade to fill up our used lot so that's where my job comes in as a used car manager is to acquire inventory for a lot so I'll go to the auctions I'll buy off lease vehicles and I have some relationships with dealerships like West Hills that will call me on luxury vehicles so I've bought a few from them I bought this one uh, and I happened to drive it back from Bremerton so it allowed me to get a little bit more acquainted with vehicles uh, sometimes you know I can drive vehicles for five or ten minutes but a vehicle truly reveals itself when you get behind the wheel and drive it for a half hour 40 minutes uh, you really get an idea how it feels in different driving situations on the highway and of course I was very impressed it's a very beautifully driving vehicle I was driving in rain and stop and go traffic I was comfortable uh, the heated seats and heated steering wheel were really nice because it's uh, kind of chilly out these days um, so I was definitely impressed by it this one um, is uh, local uh, clean Carfax vehicle shows two previous owners and recently it shows the 50k 
service was done at Range Rover right down the street from us in Fife. Uh, all that information is in the Carfax report. We do have a complimentary copy. Nice color combination and black on, uh, on tan leather. Uh, nice alloy wheels. Beautiful looks and lines on the Evoque. They're definitely not copying anyone else. It's distinctly Range Rover. And you know, this is a compact vehicle, so it's not the biggest vehicle in the world. But interior space is not too bad. I'm six foot two. I had that front seat adjusted for my height, and I still have plenty of uh, headroom and shoulder room back here. And I have uh, some heated outbound seats back here as well. The nice thing too about its small size, it's a great uh, uh, crossover SUV for urban environment, uh, for in city environments, you know, it's easy to maneuver and park. Uh, the detail department actually almost threw this away when they're cleaning, look at that, brand new uh, plate frames. Obviously we'd love to have you keep our Infinity of Tacoma plate frames, but uh, this has a nice uh, Range Rover Evoque uh, plate frames still in there, so. That's for the next customer who buys this. They want to put those on and you can see we have the carpeted floor mats. We have the Range Rover all season mats. You can fold down those rear seats flat for more cargo space. We have a power lift gate. Nice lines, dual exhaust system. Really has a nice uh, wide track. Nice aggressive stance. Uh, very uh, short overhangs which makes it looks good and helps maximize space but the short overhangs also help it in uh, off-road situations it, uh, uh, it makes for a low well short arrival and departure angle so if you're going up a steep grade up a hill with well, short overhangs down the front and back you're not going to risk scraping your front and rear bumper but like i said most people aren't probably going to take this vehicle in a situation like that but uh if you ever did, it is more than capable. Obviously, we're not gonna go rock crawling in this thing like you would, uh, you know, off-road setup Jeep Wrangler, but it is a very capable off-road vehicle. Nice projector headlights. And for a power plant, we have a uh, turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It's the only engine available uh, in the Evoque, as far as I know. Um, it makes 240 horsepower. It's not a heavy vehicle, 240 horsepower is plenty for this. Uh, plenty of passing power and acceleration. And that nine speed automatic transmission will help maximize performance and efficiency. Thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully we see you soon and have a wonderful day.